Hello and welcome to the Hidden Info. Today in this session we will discuss about what is encryption and what is the working of the encryption, how does it work. So let's get started. Encryption came from the word cryptos. Cryptos is a Greek word. Cryptos meaning is secret or the hidden. Encryption is used to protect our data from the others. Early 1900 BC, the people were using the encryption to send their messages. But that encryption technique was totally different from now. In the encryption, we generally use the algorithm to protect our data. There are basically two kinds of algorithm. First one is symmetric algorithm and the second one is asymmetric algorithm. Now, what is encryption? If you are an organization providing services to your subscribers and want to protect your data from the stealing by others, then you should go for the encryption technique. So encryption makes your organization unable to send the data in more secure way. There are different kind of encryption algorithms which are applied to the data to make it encrypted. As you can see in the figure, there are some example of encryption algorithm. The speed of encryption and decryption of data is given in the MBs. You need to choose your appropriate algorithm. If you want faster speed of encryption, then you should go with the AES algorithm, which encrypt your data with 183 Mbps and decrypt it in 178 Mbps. As we have discussed, encryption uses the algorithm to protect your data from the others. So there are two types of algorithm used in the encryption. First one is symmetric algorithm. And second one is asymmetric algorithm. Symmetric algorithm. In symmetric algorithm, there are basically two keys. Both are identical to each other, but in electronics, it is known as one key only because it's identical for encrypt and decrypt the data. To understand the symmetric algorithm, we need to have the example of Christina and sign. In this example, Christina wants to send the message to the sign. She write her message in the box and lock her message by using the padlock and send it. Now this message is encrypted and at the other side the signee received the message and open it from the key that he already have and this is identical to the Christina's key. Signy got this key before some time from any physical media. So signy applied this key which is identical and read the message. Also signy can send the reply of this message from his background. Asymmetric algorithm. There are two different keys are available in asymmetric algorithm. One is public key and the other one is private. Again, we are going to have the example of Krishna and Sine to understand it more. In the asymmetric algorithm, Krishna is having the public key. At first, Krishna needs to ask the Sine to send his open padlock from the regular email. The Sine is sent his open padlock and Krishna receives it. Then she type her secret message in it and then she lock it by using her public key. Then she send the message that is encrypted to the signee. The signee uses its private key and read the message. The advantage of asymmetric algorithm is that we do not need to share our private key on the network so your key is safe. If someone get the copy of private key then he or she cannot open the message sent by the external because of different platform. Now we will discuss about application of encryption. There are various applications for the encryption like STBs, smart cards, ATMs, SIM card, and modems. I hope you like our video. If you want to know more about it, then don't forget to visit our website that is www.headaininfo.com. And one more thing, don't forget to like and subscribe this video to get regular updates.